Hello and welcome back to Crafted by Corey. If you're new, I'm Corey. Welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you as always for being here. Today is a channel update. I don't have crafts today, but I hope you'll stick around and listen because I'm going to talk about doing something that I've never done before and you're going to want to hear about it. Cat is here saying hello. The dogs are running around upstairs crazy house here always, so forgive the background noise. Um, but I want to start out by, first of all, wishing all of you moms a happy Mother's Day because this is going to post on Mother's Day. Um, I'm thinking of each and every one of you, so I hope that you enjoy your day and you are all pampered by your family members and children. Um, so best wishes for a wonderful Mother's Day. And then I want to thank every single one of you who tunes in to watch my videos. I cannot begin to tell you what it means to me that you take time out of your busy schedules and you sit down and you watch me crafting and listen to me crafting and listen to me babble on and on. Or maybe you mute me because you just want to see what I'm doing. You don't want to listen to what I have to say. But I sincerely appreciate the time that you take to support my channel, the comments that you all leave. I read every single comment. I don't always have time to respond to every single one, at least not in the moment. I do try to go back and respond to everything over time. Um, but I read every single comment and I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate you. When I think back, and it's crazy because next month it will be four years that I'm doing this. I started this channel, my very first video posted in June of 2020 during COVID. Um, I had some extra time, as a lot of people did, and um, I started my channel. And I don't know, oh, I'm gonna get a little stupid. I'm a little overtired, so bear with me. Um, I don't know if you all realize the impact you've had on my life. I hear you talk um, in your comments a lot of the time that I inspire you and that you appreciate me. I don't think you have any idea what you have done for me. I have so much more confidence um, and a feeling of self-worth that I did not have when I started this channel. So thank you for that because you've made a real difference in my life. Sorry. Um, you've made a real difference in my life. These are happy tears, you guys. Um, and improved my life in ways I can't even begin to describe to you. So thank you for that sincere appreciation. Um, you all are the absolute best. And for those of you who tune in week in and week out and search for my videos and show up and send me words of encouragement, I there are no words. So just thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I also want to thank you for all of the love that you sent to Rich um, a few weeks ago when he stepped in and um, did the voiceover for my video because I had completely lost my voice. Um, I felt fine, but I had completely lost my voice and he stepped in and did the voiceover. And um, I want to thank you. You made his day by sending all of those comments, those kind words again. And... Um, it was wonderful and it made him smile and chuckle and and feel good about what he had done in supporting me. So thank you for that. I can't thank you enough. Um, some of you suggested that he should do it again sometime. Maybe we'll get him to do it again sometime. He definitely uh, got more comfortable as he went. And it's actually funny because um, he's told the story to some of our friends and family members um, a few times since having done it. And um, he keeps saying, you don't understand. I had never seen the projects until I did that. You know, I was seeing it at the same time as people watching the video were seeing it because I hadn't even shown him the final crafts when he sat down and did that. It was 1030 on a Thursday night and the video had to be done that night because it had to be... Um, posted you know for the next day and and I work full time so there was going to be no time in the morning on Friday morning for me to do any of that so he was a real trooper and uh so he stepped in and did that and it, it's 
you know, fantastic. He's just awesome. So he's doing really well. Um, super supportive and thank you for supporting him. Maybe we'll talk him into doing that again sometime. Um, so also wanted to share some of the other things I've got going on right now. Um, one of which is I am on a new journey that I'd like to share with you. Um, if you have interest in me sharing it and if you're not interested, that's fine too. But, um, I am on a weight loss journey. I found myself at my very heaviest um, <laughs> and I decided that I was going, and this is not a sponsored video, by the way, um, they have no idea that I'm going to even talk about this. They don't know who I am. Um, but I started using an app called Noom, N-O-O-M. You might have heard about it, um, but essentially they uh, take the psychology behind uh, eating and why we eat what we eat and they mesh that with nutrition information and um, movement and encouraging words but creating new habits y'all I will tell you I am eating so much better than I probably ever have in my life um, and I'm starting to finally understand why I need to be eating some of the things that I've always known were good for me, but I understand a little bit more how they are contributing to my health. Um, and it's not been anywhere near as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, but I'm more than happy to share this journey with you. I will sh uh, tell you I am down 15 pounds right now after having started Noom. I want to say it's been about a month. It might be six weeks. I'm really bad with remembering timelines. Um, I can go back and look if you'd like to know, and I can tell you exactly how long it's been. Um, but my goal is to be down 62 pounds from that top weight that I had hit. Um, I was, you know, sometimes I feel, feel like, you know what, I just give up. I'm just gonna eat whatever I want, I give up. But then I don't feel good about myself. And I also wasn't feeling good physically, right? I was tired all the time. I was start, starting to have aches and pains. My back was bothering me when I woke up in the morning. I'd get out of bed and my feet hurt, the bottoms of my feet. <laughs> I'm like, why does it hurt when I walk, when I first get up in the morning, you know? So some of the things I was dealing with, I was dealing with swollen ankles, other things I won't get into because it's just TMI, but um, some of these things prompted me to start this journey. Um, and the other thing that I had always struggled with was feeling like there's so much information out there that contradicts other information, right? So one report will tell you to eat this, and then the next one says, no, don't eat that. It's the worst thing you could eat. Eat this other thing. And I just, I feel like we're so bombarded with everything. I just needed to try something different and new, and I decided I was going to try Noom. Um, full transparency, you do have to buy that app or pay for that app. Um, I think it was $189, and then there might have been like an add-on that I got. I think it was somewhere around $200, right? And it takes me for a year. I think it's a year that it takes me um, out. But anyway, I feel like I'm babbling. If you have interest in going through this journey with me, learning a little bit more about what I'm doing and want more information, drop me a comment. Let me know that you'd like for me to do some more videos um, just talking about my weight loss journey. Um, but so far, I've been really impressed with the Noom app. I'm very happy with it. Um, one of the reasons I had decided to do this particular type of diet, um, and it's really a, a more of a lifestyle change and actually learning good habits. That's what it is. It's, it's changing habits. Um, but one of the reasons I decided to try it was that my brother-in-law, my sister's husband, is a doctor. He's a general practitioner. He's a family doctor. And he had mentioned that he has a lot of patients who had lost significant amounts of weight using Noom. So I decided I was going to try it as well. Very, very happy with it. Anyway, enough about that. Let me know if that's something you want to hear more about, and I will be happy to share my journey with you. Maybe we can start some exercises together or something. I always thought of exercise as a dirty word. <laughs> but um, 
joyful movement is something that Noom encourages. And apparently you can even count things like cooking dinner and <laughs> um, going grocery shopping. So because it's all, it all involves movement. But anyway, so there's that. Um, other things taking place, Rich stepped in on another thing to help out. Um, I was supposed to move Elena out of her apartment uh, this morning. She's done with college for the semester. And uh, I was supposed to move her out, but I ended up having to go on a last minute business trip, which is part of why I did not have a video yesterday. Um, it, life has been crazy. So um, Rich stepped up again, and because I didn't get back until this afternoon, this is Saturday, and he went and moved Elena out. So sincere appreciation to Rich for the continued support that he provides to me. Um, but as I mentioned, I know I did not have a, a craft video out, video out yesterday, and I'm sorry that I just did not get a chance to get the crafting done this past week. A lot of things have been popping up and um, it, they just take priority over my crafting right now, so, um, or in general. So we all do what we have to do in the moment. Um, and that being said, I also have not had an opportunity to get crafting done for my next week when I normally post on Friday, May 17th. So that brings me to the thing that I've not done before and I plan to do on Friday evening, May 17th, because I'm not gonna have an opportunity to craft this week um, because of my schedule and what it's looking like right now. So um, I am going to do a craft with Corey. I'm gonna go live, you guys. If you have um, followed me for a while, you probably heard me talking about um, not really being comfortable crafting live because I am a slow crafter. Um, I think I actually did do it once on Annie's channel, um, Indy Annie Jones, my, my friend Annie. Um, she is amazing, by the way, so you should check her out. Um, I Honestly, I have been so out of the loop on what all of the other crafting channels are doing in recent months. Um, I don't know if she still does lives. It's been a while since I checked in with her. Um, I'll probably text her right after I finish recording this to say hello. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll have to invite Annie to craft live with me or something. Um, but this coming Friday, May 17th, I will be crafting live with you guys um, at 7 o'clock Eastern. Um, I'll be able to answer questions and ch uh, chat with you as I'm going. I am going to do my best to be organized ahead of time and make sure that I know what I am going to be crafting um, because I actually, and I think I've talked about this before, I tend to craft in the moment. And by that, I mean, I, I don't really do a lot of advanced preparation <laughs> for my crafting. It's usually, okay, I got to craft tonight because I got a video I got to post on Friday. What am I going to make? and I start going through my stash or I start looking for inspiration online. Um, sometimes I have things that I already have in mind because I saw something in a store and I'm like, oh, I wanna try and recreate that. One of my favorite things to do is dupes. I love trying to figure out how to make things that I have seen on a shelf in a store um, or in somebody's home. And I thought, oh, that's beautiful. I wonder if I could recreate something similar to that. Um, that's my favorite thing to do. I just love being able to make things um, on a budget that look like they're not on a budget. So that is uh, where I get a lot of my inspiration. But that being said, I will do my best to be organized and prepared and pre-plan um, to have my crafting be a little bit, if not faster, at least a little bit more organized than what you don't normally see with all the behind the scenes stuff that happens for my channel. Um, so I can't promise that I won't have to wander off camera to look for something that I might have forgotten, but I will do my very, very best. And I hope that you'll come along and craft with me um, on Friday. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can share. Lena's good. Jordan is good. My son, Jordan, he is still a drone pilot in the Marines down in North Carolina. That is where he's based. He's actually um, an instructor now. So he's uh, doing very well. Um, 
my family is great. I hope your families are all doing well. Everybody is healthy and happy and uh, looking forward to summer. But I think that's it for the update right now. As I said, if you are a mom, I wish you a very happy Mother's Day. I hope that you have a fantastic day. And I hope that you'll all tune in on Friday. Um, and until the next time, be well, be kind, and make it a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care. Bye.